Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a look at the brand new Tomatin Portwood finish, 14 years old, 46% ABV. It's unchill filtered and uncolored. Yes, unchill filtered. It's often said it's a very hmm, natural way to preserve the aromas in a whiskey. And the whiskies, the unchill filtered whiskies, taste better than the others. I did a scientific investigation, here's the link to it, um, and in this I found out that there is, or not I, over a hundred uh, blind testers with more than 1,300 uh, samples found out that there is no difference, neither in quality nor in, uh, in recognizability of the unchill filtering process. So there's a lot of marketing blah about this, but the very good thing of unchill filtering is that the whiskey comes with a higher ABV in this uh, particular bottle, 46%. Tomatin was a distillery or is a distillery <clears throat> which had uh, the most number of stills, of pot stills all over the world. It had in Oh, 20 years ago, 23 pot stills, and they produced malt whiskey like hell. Sorry about that. And they exported this malt whiskey mostly to Japan because uh, the distillery is or was in the hand of a Japanese company. I think it still is. <clears throat> in the meantime, they reduced their still numbers to four, and they produce less whiskey but a better one, I think. One of my favorite was the Tomatin Legacy, and I'm afraid I have no video of that. Um, Tomatin has a range of whiskies from no age, like the Legacy, up to 40 years. And uh, whenever you have a closer look to the uh, bottles of Tomatin, you find out that uh, there is a lot of very light whiskey coming out of those casks. So now, since a few years, since 2012 or 11, they start to finish their casks, their whiskies in new casks. And this Tomatin, 14 year old, is finished in portwood casks, in European oak. And that means that there are additional aromas from the port wine fruitiness of the port wine, but also from the European oak, which is very intense and tends to be uh, heavily spiced and spicy uh, to the whiskey. Let's have a look at the card box. Uh, it's established in 1897, so it's quite a new distillery. Uh, natural color and non-chill filtered, part with finish, 14 years. Tomatin Distillery, home of the finest Highland single malt Scotch whiskey, is located in the Monachliath Mountains, just south of Inverness, capital of the Highlands of Scotland. Established in 1893, Tomatin is also one of the highest distilleries in Scotland, at 315 meters above sea level. The sea, uh, most of the distilleries uh, are located close to the sea or at low sea levels. It means that temperature is quite stable there. And the higher you are going up uh, into the highlands, I visited the Brace of Glenlivet distillery uh, and I had two foot of new snow up there uh, in February. <clears throat> and there is also very cold down to 20 degrees, minus 20 degrees centigrade. So far, far below freezing point. And uh, this change between warmer temperatures in summer and cold temperatures in winter uh, leads to a better or a faster maturation of the whiskey because the casks are breathing. Uh, the alcohol water mixture, the raw whiskey, contracts in winter quite strong, several percent, and tears air from the environment into the cask and in summer when the whiskey heats up it presses the air out again <clears throat> and this cycle uh, this whiskey had 14 years of those cycles from 
very low temperatures to quite high temperatures. Um, <clears throat> the soft waters of the Altna Firth Freeburn, which run clear and pure through the mountains, help to create a highland malt with delicate flavors, yet a rich and mellow style. Uh, the water has, I think, no influence at all on the whiskey because everybody in Scotland has the same pure water coming out of the nearly identical geological formations and all of the distilleries have beautiful pure water. There are some waters out on the islands, on the Hebriden islands, uh, that it might be a little bit different. The water comes through moors and so, but uh, the peat levels from the moor are very, very, very low. So the water is one of the things you have to have good water, but between good water and very good water is a very, very few difference. <clears throat> help to create a highland malt with delicate flavors yet a rich and mellow style. Its undoubted quality and consistency make for a truly fine dram. 14 years old. Aroma. Honeydew melon, red berries, baked apples, rich toffee, butterscotch, sweet honey and bitter dark chocolate. Bitter dark chocolate. It's from the casks. Palate. Fruit and nuts, peaches, apricots, mango and plum. Mixed walnut and pecan. Finish smooth fruit salad which lingers on the plate. <clears throat> so. What a wonderful fruitiness. These berries and sweet apples and apricots, peaches and it's all covered by a vanilla caramel surrounding butterscotch and in the back there is a little a little spiciness not much very very little spiciness some nuts perhaps walnut a pecan nut no pecan nut is more oily no have a sip. Mm. Oh, what a strong whiskey. Yes, the 46% ABV, but it's the spiciness. It's Ah, the chocolate, dark chocolate, the bitterness is rising, a strong bitterness. Oh, and the walnuts are there, and now ah, the fruits are pushed away by the spiciness. Um, everything is full in your mouth of spice, of oakiness, of bitterness. Whoa. The fruitiness is fading fast and the chocolate, the dark bitter chocolate is staying. The, the palate is so strong in contrast to the aroma, the fine, well-balanced, <clears throat> ripe aromas that this spiciness is pushing away everything. So we have to smell quite a long time to rediscover the fruitiness. And now perhaps there's the honey melon. And some darker fruit like the plums. Yeah. Caramel, vanilla. 
What a very strong whisky. <clears throat> I think it's not that well balanced. The aroma is wonderful in front. The taste is so strong and so overwhelming that you, you completely miss the second smell. So it's a single malt whiskey which lay over a year in those uh, ex-port wine casks. And this year in those fresh wine casks brought this dark natural color and a lot of spiciness from the oak. You have to love that. <clears throat> but if you don't like bitterness, don't try this one. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends. Ask questions in our newly opened forum. I'm there to answer your questions. And stay tuned. There's more to come.